स्टार्ट करें सर क्लास सर ये पीपीटी आगे क्यों नहीं पड़ रही है एक ही विंडो दिखा रहा है इसमें आपको मैंने रिमोट कंट्रोल दे तो दिया है जस्ट स्टार्ट करें सर सर ये आगे कैसे बढ़ेगा पीपीटी आप मुझे नेक्स्ट कह दीजिएगा मैं चेंज कर दूंगा हो रहा है आपने चेंज किया भी हो गया सर चेंज अच्छा अच्छा मैं फर्स्ट स्लाइड पे जा रहा हूँ वापस फिर भी आपको कोई दिक्कत तो मैं स्टिल कनेक्ट कर दूंगा स्टार्ट करें सर आपका ओके वेलकम सो माई सेल्फ आशीष गुप्ता एंड आई एम यू नेस्कॉम ट्रेनर फॉर आई ओटी इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द आई ओ टी एप्लीकेशन ओके नेक्स्ट स्लाइड नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज सो यू कैन सी दैट दे आर मेनी रियल वर्ल्ड आई ओ टी एप्लीकेशन ranging from uh, many things so in this figure as you can see uh, sir next slide please ha huh. okay so in this figure you have you can see a smart a smart home a smart room in this smart room there are several sensors working in the different places the sensors may be the motion sensor uh, which detects the motion within the room and uh, there could be a sensor with uh, attached with your fan with which uh, uh, you can control the fan by using the mobile application so using the mobile application you can control your fan you can control your window you can control uh, many things where the sensors are working just like you can see in the figure there is an uh, automated uh, door automated door are simply we can see in a general scenario that uh, the sensor at the door Uh, actually uh, checking that whether any person is coming or not and if any if sensor senses that uh, any person is there so it uh, unlock the door and the door will open for you so just like that in the uh, general scenario we can see our sensors around us just like in uh, in the mobile phones also uh, we have a sensor uh, just like uh, automatic display lighting there is a sensor which sense the light uh, the current light around the phone mobile phone and adjust this uh, that the the lighting of your phone so this is a automatic mode so this is the so was different kind of sensors are working up on, around us but uh, the thing is about the iot the connecting the sensors uh, through wifi so that uh, the real time data will gather and uh, then analyzed and based on the analyzed data this data will be uh, the the intelligent decision will be taken and the intelligent by taking the intelligent decision you will take a decision by on your mobile phone app okay so this is a figure of a smart uh, home um next slide sir okay um as you say as you say that in a in a room control uh, a range of functions that uh, that manage the energy and as well as the comfort space we our main focus is to uh, is to uh, make your room or your home more more comfort as well as to uh, to save the energy the save energy example is just like your ac ac is uh, a perfect example if you uh, sometimes uh, when we out of your home out of your room you forget to uh, shut down your ac so this uh, this actually consumes uh, energy uh, so iot actually help us to automate these things and the sensor sense the the any kind of movement in your room if uh, there is uh, no any kind of movement then the sensor automatically uh, close your ac so uh, there are se several uh, types of uh, sensors uh, actually working and you can say that there are the air quality control window control window opening and opening and off uh, by using uh, the different kind of sensors in a room in, in a smart home the sensors can be applied in many way this is a basic uh, application and uh, in the future we will see that uh, our home will be more smarter next slide sir
नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सर हेलो भाटी सर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड हाँ ओके सो इन दिस we we can see uh, iot applications in smart home uh, we will take uh, some uh, example and uh, uh, want to understand that uh, actually what how smart home works so a smart home is a residence that uh, uses the iot enabled devices for remote monitoring and uh, management of uh, appliances and systems such as lighting and the uh, heating uh, just like we discussed previously that the light can be switched on and off uh, based on the your presence in, in the room and the the sensor senses your presence and based on the uh, lighting and the ac is the tv will be off and on so the smart home technology is also called the home automation home automation because the uh, all the things uh, will will do automatically without the manual human intervention so a smart home uh, automation will allow a user or the home owner to control the comfort security convenience and energy efficiency of the residents by controlling the smart devices this like in security camera smart locks automated doors electric appliances refrigerator ac washing machines cooking ovens microwave dishwasher by smart home app on a smart home home or other connected devices so via your application or in mobile you can control many things in your home or house or the or the there uh, if there are different sensors working in your room also or home also that gather the real time information every time and based on this gathered information our uh, intelligent decision will be taken in the cloud based on the intelligent decision you will be uh, you will given a choice to whether i opted for it or not so this intelligent decision is taken in the cloud by uh, applying the different machine learning approaches so all can be done remotely you can uh, you can be in your home or, or you can be in your car so we will take a simple example of it next slide sir uh, sir next slide सर स्लाइड दो चेंज कर चुका हूं मैं आगे भी नेक्स्ट चेंज करनी है क्या हाँ इसको चेंज करनी इसको आगे बढ़ाइए सर इसको स्लाइड को आगे करिए नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट स्लाइड करिए बैक 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 इसको बैक करिए एक और बैक करिए पीछे बस ठीक है ओके 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 जस्ट लाइक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ यू ए सिंपल एग्जाम्पल वी विल टेक दैट इफ यू फॉर इफ यू आर गोइंग टू टू सी अ मूवी फ्रॉम आउट ऑफ योर होम एंड यू आर जस्ट कमिंग यू आर जस्ट नीड टू द मूवी हॉल एंड मूवी इज जस्ट टेन मिनट्स आफ्टर टेन मिनट्स योर मूवी गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एंड देर एंड यू फॉर गेट to close your ac in your room so there is a uh, energy consumption there you can also be a heavy electricity bill if ac is on in your room so to or even a very worst condition can occur even a gas leak so this uh, this can be a more dangerous thing so you, you don't have to worry about it because you have also spent a lot of money on your purchasing a ticket you also want to see the movie at the same time there is a, a ac is opening or a gas leak is there so you don't have to worry about it because uh, iot is there you can control remotely anything and uh, close your ac close your uh, and uh, dealing with the gas leak so uh, you can do anything because uh, a sensor senses the movement in the room and if you out of your room the sensor motion sensor senses that there is not any kind of movement in the room if there is not any kind of movement in the room so it uh, it sends a notification on a mobile phone that there is not any movement and the ac is on so you can to know that the i forget to close the ac so by mobile application you will close the ac so the devices are connected through internet and you can control them via via your mobile application so this is a simple application of uh, of uh, ac and gas leak that you can manage and uh, 
also that in a smart home a tv light tv light or window blind can same your presence or movement and will work automatically as we discuss the ac uh, or a simple example of a mobile coverage if you are talking to somebody via your mobile phone uh, and during a call your signals will drop off so there is a signal booster there that will senses every time that your that your signal is is uh, uh, okay or not if your signal get uh, weaker then uh, it will boost your signals automatically it senses every time of signals okay uh, other features include proximity door unlocking security you can secure your home also so these are the uh, these these are, are the main applications of uh, smart home um, okay sir next slide sir next slide okay uh, and uh, just like uh, some more example you here if you want to prefer to listen a music uh, and on uh, and you are listening a music from uh, from a longer time so i iot device intelligently uh, send your uh, music uh, on your uh, earphones from a earphones to your studio speaker because uh, it senses that uh, if you are uh, listening a loud music for a very long time it would not be good for your health so it will uh, transfer that music to your uh, to your stereo speaker this uh, because of the health issues so there this these are some very basic and uh, important things that uh, everyday sensors will take care of uh, so uh, amit bhatti sir there is a video in the previous slide i want to play this video if and if you can play this okay i am trying to manage this uh, just a moment is it visible to you sir is it visible to you sir hello gupta ji aapko visible ho rahi hai screen youtube bb huh YouTube दिख रहा है आपको YouTube स्क्रीन पर यूट्यूब दिख रहा है क्या यूट्यूब में दिख रहा है सर मुझे यहाँ पे जस्ट अ मोमेंट अब दिख रहा है सर नो YouTube इज नॉट ऑन माई स्क्रीन ओनली पीपीट इज ऑन ऑन माई स्क्रीन No, Hello, YouTube sir. is not on my screen. Hello, sir. YouTube is not not Abhi. here on my screen. नहीं आ रहा है अब दिख रहा है सर आई थिंक कुछ स्टूडेंट्स को दिख रहा है शायद रिप्लाइड मी दैट यू कैन सी दी यूट्यूब गेट विंडो ओके सो आई एम जस्ट रिज्यूमिंग द सेशन गुप्ता सर दिख रहा है आपको अब गुप्ता जी आशीष गुप्ता सर अनम्यूट कीजिए सर माइक माइक अनम्यूट कीजिए हाँ सर हेलो हाँ सर आवाज आ रही है सर हाँ आवाज आ रही है आपको दिख रहा है सर हाँ 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 दिख रहा है समय ओके ठीक है तो आ, मैं वापस अगेन रिज्यूम कर रहा हूँ हाँ वीडियो प्ले कर दीजिए
ओके ओके सर गेट्स बैक टू आवर पीपीटी ओके 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 सर यू कैन रिज्यूम लेट्स टू सर ओके 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 सर ओके ओके सर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज सर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड अमित भाटी सर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड okay uh, so uh, there is a uh, hmm smart uh, uh, sir pre previous slide previous slide smart home market in india slide okay so smart home market in india smart homes are uh, getting very popular in india especially uh, uh, especially in metro cities every year the adoption of smart homes is increasing uh, between 15 to 18 percent in tier 1 cities and and between the 5 to 10 percent in the tier 2 and tier 3 cities the uh, the concept of uh, smart home is feasible in india because uh, at the present time we can see that uh, uh, both couples and husband and wife are earning and uh, this is the most feasible thing in india and in the in the future we will see the more smart home smart homes so home automation is actually very practical in india home automation market in india was estimated at around uh, uh, inr 8800 crore into 017 and is expected to cross 30000 crore by 2022 okay with the adoption is of the smart home we can see the in the future uh, our home more smarter okay sir next slide sir next slide amit bhati sir next slide okay uh the next iot application is a smart grid okay so the grid is a network of uh, transmission lines substations and transformers that uh, deliver electricity from the power plant to your home or business so when we understand the grid to so grid is a network of uh, transmission lines or substations or the transformers so and the and uh, that delivers electricity to, to your home okay uh, so it is what you plug into when you are flip your uh, light switch or power up uh, so the smart grid consists of a control computers automation and new technologies and equipments working together it allows a two way communication between the utility and its customer and sensing along with the transmission line so smart grid is a very new concept in iot for energy saving and working on that on in india also different different companies in the in the foreign and indian companies are working to save in energy and uh, and place this energy to those places to those villages uh, where uh, where there is a huge uh, problem of uh, uh, of lighting so uh, in, i have also shared this youtube video and but there are some problems are coming to play these videos so i will request to see this video when i will send you the ppt uh, okay sir next slide so uh, a cost hmm. oh. Oh, the cost of uh, electricity uh, varies throughout the day 
this is not concept in india but in the foreign countries for example if you uh, use a dishwasher or the washing machine uh, during the peak hours you will have to play uh, pay more towards your electricity bill so the smart system uh, yeah, yeah, or smart meters or smart thermostats uh, will give you a an indication or notification for the best time to uh, the dishwasher or washing machine so that you can minimize your uh, bills okay so this is the actually not that uh, not coming in india but in the foreign countries there are there are typical times where you you have to charge more more bill on uh, uh, and uh, or sometimes and you will charge less bill on sometimes so the smart systems will uh, give you the notification on the time when uh, your electricity bill will be uh, less so in foreign countries smart metering so this is a concept of smart metering smart metering allows a consumer to produce energy this is also concept in foreign countries of smart meter a smart meter is a, is something that if you have a solar panel in your roof rooftop on your home and you are conserving some energy through solar light so uh, this light will be this produced light by your solar energy will will be uh, um, your power will be less uh, by this uh, uh, solar energy light so uh, your bill can be reduced uh, by minus this uh, kind of uh, solar uh, solar panel uh, uh, light uh, which you produce by uh, planting the solar panel on a rooftop so this is application in foreign countries but in india we will also see uh, such kind of application will also come so this is a smart grid for the energy saving uh, Next slide, sir. Oh, oh, okay, sir. So the next application is uh, medical and uh, healthcare. In the medical and healthcare, uh, there is a um, tremendous use of of IoT application uh, in a in a various way. N next slide. Next slide, sir. Okay. So the IoT has the potential to change the way healthcare is delivered. Through a significant technology disruption, so uh, how we uh, implement IoT in the healthcare, we will see physical devices such as the weighing scale, thermometer, patient's vital monitoring device such as glucose, blood pressure, heart rate, activity monitoring are being connected to the internet and have the capability to share the real-time in information. So everything is connected to internet. A uh, uh, sensor device will be attached with the patient's vital monitoring devices, just like an glucose blood pressure so every time uh, it will give the real time in information to doctor a real time information of the patient's heart rate uh, patient's uh, blood pressure uh, so that the doctor can uh, gather that uh, will see that real time information on their mobile phone phones and then uh, take the decision whether uh, what kind of action should be taken in the future for the patient health uh, so, uh, because the number of patients are uh, are constantly increasing day by day and the doctors are not in the numbers to treat them so this is a need for the future era when uh, there are number of, uh, uh, a lot of patients are there and uh, the iot sensors are connecting with the uh, with the uh, uh, with just like in patients vital monitoring uh, devices and always giving the real time information to doctor on their mobile phone and uh, this intelligent uh, uh, things will be, we will see in the in in the future and also one application is uh, is also that uh, uh, suppose that uh, suppose doctor want to check that uh, the patients uh, follow the follow the rules or the or, or the things that uh, the doctor doctor pres uh, doctor prescribe uh, so uh, in these things uh, uh, the sensors are attached with the different kind of devices that always uh, uh, tells uh, and sends the notification on the doctor's mobile phone whether the patient is uh, is following the things that are prescribed by a doctor or not so these kind of monitoring things can be applied uh, uh, in the future on the medical and the healthcare next slide sir okay so there are uh, some uh, uh, basic examples just like i have described uh, previously that is a continuous uh, clinical care continuous clinical care means the real time information is always on the doctor's mobile phone the doctor obtained from patient's monitoring devices can analyze to provide relevant input to patient's control devices uh, just like uh, ventilators uh, iv pumps etc 
by collecting the real time uh, data on uh, uh, patients uh, information on the mobile phone uh, the doctor can take the immediate action whether the patients need the ventilators or not whether the patients need the iv pump or not because in the medical and the healthcare uh, the patients need the urgent treatment so the doctors can take the urgent decision based on the patient's health by taking the uh, sensors uh, uh, real time sensor information on their mobile phones second application is a re remote patient monitoring yes patient, uh, doctor can be anywhere doctor but uh, uh, but every time he can uh, monitor the patient health on it uh, on their mobile phones and uh, prescribe the uh, prescribe the treatment uh, uh, by uh, on their phone also so so, so this is uh, very important because in the future uh, future all these things will happen because the patients are in number that is not compared to the doctors uh, present in india so um, okay sir next slide next slide sir and the next application is a uh, medical medication adherence as we have discussed that medication medication ad adherence is that uh, the patient is following the treatment uh, prescribed by the doctor or not so it uh, doctor can uh, uh, not manually check every time that the uh, that uh, the person is following the the prescribed uh, things uh, by doctor or not but it is possible by using the sensors sensors always sensing things and give the real time in information to doctors and doctor will prescribe and doctor will check whether whether the patients uh, uh, are medically ad adherent to uh, their subscribed things prescribed things or not okay and one uh, is uh, the wellness program use of smartphone apps uh, you will you can see there are smart watches here that uh, actually sensing uh, your heart rate uh, your uh, your walking speed your daily activities uh, they uh, for, and uh, and give you the consultation based on uh, your uh, uh, activities just like your heart rate just like the beat rate so that is a that is the main applications uh, uh, today is working uh, you can see in the smart watch smart bands are also there so this is a wellness program for your uh, activities um, so th this is application of uh, in uh, medical and the uh, healthcare next slide sir um so uh, medical application are used in the blood pressure monitoring uh, oxygen saturation monitoring monitoring uh, congestive heart heart flare failure these are the some uh, uh, some uh, important uh, primary iot applications for medical and healthcare uh, just like glucose level uh, in sensing for the management of diabetes or um, or ecg monitoring for the measurement of heart rate and rhythm so these are some important application of medical and healthcare next slide sir sir next slide next slide sir amit bhati sir next slide hello i am mean, bhati sir next slide okay uh, simply okay okay oh iot in the smart farming so next application of iot is in the smart farming uh, in the smart farming iot can, are applying in when, uh, many countries also in america and any many developed countries just like uk smart farming is in current trend and in india also uh, uh, many work is uh, going on 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 uh, applying the iot in the smart farming smart farming in iot is working in the way that uh, sensors are uh, uh, sensors uh, are deployed in the different places of a large agricultural land uh, the sensors may be uh, many sensors just like in soil temperature soil temperature so soil uh, uh, water uh, level uh, sensor or the or the temperature sensor there are many kind of sensors uh, which are connected um, to your uh, node mcu or arduino device uh, and uh, they senses uh, and these sensors uh, are called a node and they are uh, and they are deployed in the different places in a large agricultural land and uh, by sensing the real time uh, information uh, just like uh, uh, the soil uh, water level humidity 
temperature or pH level of the soil. So, uh, so by sensing this, uh, these important parameters, uh, uh, that uh, gather uh, real-time in, in, information will send to the cloud. In the cloud, uh, the intelligent decision making will be uh, will take place. In the intelligent decision uh, 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 making, uh, that will and and the based on this intelligent decision making, the farmer will get to know that what kind of decision uh, he would take. Just for an example, if a month of July. The farmer want to uh, sow the crop of tomato, uh, but uh, uh, but he does not know whether the crop uh, sowing the crop of tomato is good to, in this season or not. So IoT devices uh, actually do some uh, that things that uh, that it collects the real time information by sensors or also from uh, collecting in, uh, collected information of the previous years. Uh, it will send you the notification whether. Uh, the sowing of tomato crop is good for in this agriculture land and in the season or not. This is all accomplished by the previous uh, uh, IoT sensor information that gather by the sensors. And the in intelligent decision will uh, give you the notification to farmers that uh, whether you should uh, uh, sow the crop of tomato or not or whether uh, what kind of crops will be good in the season. Okay, so these are some intelligent things that uh, that is possible through IoT in the smart farming. Next slide, sir. Friends, एक चीज मैं share करना चाहूँगा कि अभी सर ने जो बताया smart farming तो इसी के ऊपर एक project है जिसके ऊपर गुप्ता सर और मैं itself करीब दो साल से work कर रहे हैं और government of India ने इस project को sponsor किया है और ये project अपने university में चल रहा है अपने college में चल रहा है तो at the end of your training मैं चाहूँगा कि जो students हैं वो भी इसके ऊपर कुछ ना कुछ अपना contribution दें तो जब ये training अपनी complete हो जाएगी तो ऐसे minor project आप सभी को इस project में कुछ ना कुछ अपना करना है involvement रखना है ताकि आप IoT का कैसे implementation होता है practically आप कोई अपनी आंखों के सामने देख सके कि real synaptic view आपके सामने represent किया जाता है ठीक है तो जब ये training complete हो जाएगी तो आप सभी इस project को successfully complete कर पाएंगे at small scale level laboratory level पे जितना complete हो सका हो सकेगा हम try करेंगे कि आप इस project को अपने IIT level के ऊपर complete कर सकें और एक देख सकें कि IIT कैसे एक technological stack से product form में transform हो सकेगा ठीक है okay okay sir next slide sir Okay, uh, as we have seen uh, that, and, and uh, there uh, could be a different application in uh, farming also. Just like uh, in the farming, uh, you can uh, sense the uh, sense the by motion sensor, you can sense uh, the animal walking in your uh, agriculture land and uh, detect it by the motion sensors. Okay, and also you can uh, you can uh, sense that the uh, sense the pest in in uh, the the pest infections. Uh, so that are different kind of things that can apply uh, by uh, applying the IoT in in the smart farming. And the next application of IoT is that IoT infrastructure. Infrastructure maybe just like we have talked about the smart grids. Infrastructure maybe anything, maybe smart uh, smart home, maybe smart building. Uh, everything uh, uh, which is around us. This is, uh, this is the the infrastructure and. Uh, uh, we can apply the IoT in the in infrastructure by various ways. Just like in a smart city. Smart city is what? A smart city is uh, infrastructure based. Okay. So IoT can be applied in there also. Next slide, sir. Okay. So monitoring and controlling operation of sustainable urban and rural infrastructure like bridges, railway tracks, and on and offshore wind farms is a key application of IoT. Uh, just take an example of railway track if, uh, because manually we can, we cannot, uh, uh, we cannot uh, manually track every time that a railway track is okay for, for passing that train or not. So this is a very labor intensive work. So to reduce this labor intensive work, the sensors are placed in the many ways on the tracks. It will sense. It will sense and gives you the real-time information on the track track condition, so that the that uh, uh, in the future uh, there will be no kind of mishapping. Okay. 
so just like in bridges in bridges uh, iot sensors are working uh, and senses the information on the bridge material and uh, whether um, uh, so that kind of things uh, iot can be applied on railway tracks or uh, bridges the iot in infrastructure can be used for monitoring any events or changes in structural condition condition that can uh, compare compromise safety and increase risk just like in bridges it will sense the structural change and uh, give the notification um, so that uh, the appropriate action will be taken before any kind of mis mis happening there so iot can benefit uh, the construction industry by cost saving time reduction better quality work day paperless workflow and the increase in the productivity okay cost saving is there because uh, less manpower will be required and uh, better quality work day uh, because every time the sensor is sensing and the right information will be uh, with you with the real time which is not possible possible by the manual intervention okay it can help in taking the faster decision and save money with the real time data and analyst it devices can also be used to control critical infrastructure like bridges as we have talking about and it can also be applied to the waste management uh, from automation and optimization that could be brought in by the iot so iot can be applied in infrastructure in many ways next slide sir Uh, next slide, sir. Okay, IoT ap application. This is uh, the energy management. Uh, energy management, as, as we have talked previously, that uh, energy management is a smart grid is an application uh, where the energy can be conserved. Okay, the, one of the more application of energy management, uh, the many companies is working upon to deliver the energy. uh to the to the places where it is required because in uh, villages and in man, many areas where where uh, even now the electricity is not there so this is a major issue uh, so this is a major issue so the companies are working upon uh, planting the solar panel on that villages uh, or uh, the conserved light will be transferred to such areas where uh, they are uh, deprived of Or, or in many places in India, in India especially, uh, there is a gender issues. Just like uh, uh, the men's are, uh, if there is only a single lamp is there in your in the home, so uh, the men's are more powerful uh, in India um, con considered. So they actually uh, uh, make use of that uh, energy, which uh, so the energy would be uh, actually be transferred to the areas where it is required. so the many companies are working on that okay so uh, significant number of energy consuming devices just like uh, household appliances motors pumps already integrated internet connectivity which allows them to communicate with utilities and not only to balance power generation but also helps optimization uh, energy consumption as a whole okay the smart grid is is a is a utility side iot application systems gather and act on energy and power related information to improve the efficiency of the production and distribution of electricity okay so the distribution of electricity is very important where it is needed so uh, this is the smart grid is a, a main example and then in the future iot will be applied in the heavily in this sector and many industries are also working on that so using advanced metering infrastructure ami internet connected devices electric um, electricity not only collect data from end user but also manage distribution automation devices like transformers okay so these are some kind of application which is uh, which is using on uh, consumption of energy next slide sir sir next slide okay iot application used in the environment monitoring as we have seen in uh, in the in, in the farming case uh, that uh, many sensors are, are different sensors are used for the different purposes just like uh, some sensors are used for uh, sensing the humidity uh, of uh, air uh, in air and all the other or sensing the temp temperature so this is called the in, in, uh, environmental sensors and some sensors are used for uh, checking the water level in the soil or the humidity of the soil or uh, or sensing the ph level 
so uh, different kind of sensor or different uh, different kind of sensors are used for different things just like for monitoring air for monitoring quality carbon dioxide uh, uh, strong uh, smoke like gases carbon monoxide in confined areas and indoor oxygen levels so for monitoring areas different sensors are there monitoring air in environmental sensor will be used just like in monitoring water quality pollutant thermal constituents and uh, chemical leakage the presence of lead or the flood water levels so that kind of sensors also used to 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 monitoring water every time that uh, uh, monitoring water water condition every time and if the, if suppose there is an increase of lead in the water so that the sensor will uh, collect the real time information on the water quality and give the notification to the particular authority about the condition of water to get the particular action to treat them okay so monitoring soil as we have discussed soil soil getting the soil uh, uh, parameters just like in uh, water level or the ph level uh, we can work on uh, that uh, what is uh, actually required um, monitoring uh, forest monitoring forest means if the, in the forest there is a fire there so there are some sensors to to uh, which senses the fumes and when fumes uh, it senses it will give you the real time information because in the forest uh, manual person manually uh, the, a person cannot be there every time but the sensors are there every time and it senses the real time information so it is very required in the future to sense, to sense the such kind of mis happening okay uh, just like in monitoring for a natural uh, natural uh, disaster like earthquake or tsunami even tsunami warning and the uh, earthquakes can be uh, done by the sensors by by deploying the sensors and these kind of natural disasters can be notified in advance so that the particular action can be taken to prevent them okay and uh, monitoring uh, fisheries monitoring uh, snowfall levels or monitoring data centers that are the used for the iot in the environment okay so next slide so next slide uh, so next slide is showing that iot applications uh, uh, application in the military in the military iot will play a very vital role even in the usa uh, they started a project on uh, deploying the iot uh, in the military applications iot will be everywhere just like uh, in military so uh, military soldiers uh, helmet military soldiers gloves military soldiers lenses there are many things will be there which will help the military to take the, to respond quickly because you know that the in the battlefield the military uh, needs to respond very quickly so iot sensors will help them to gather information and to take the right decision at the right time so we will see that uh, that is a huge application of iot in the military and one key element of uh, and this is also called the internet of uh, military things is the application of iot technologies in the military domain for the purpose of uh, reconnaissance surveillance and combat combat related objectives surveillance means uh, any kind of uh, uh, surveillance whether enemy is coming or not so to surveillance such things uh, iot sensors are deployed in uh, several ways uh, to make the army more uh, uh, better Uh, so one key element of uh, healthy iobt or iomt is a strong edge architecture so here we uh, use the edge architecture uh, the companies will use the edge architecture that will uh, be uh, beneficial for the connected device to send and receive data quickly allowing military personnel to respond potentially uh, dangerous situation to the battlefield okay so usko hum uh, so to uh, uh, to respond very quickly iot is uh, needed in this field also next slide sir okay sir so next application is uh, an a connected car a connected car may be a very important application because uh, um, let's take an example if you if uh, you are uh, uh, driving a car on the road and uh, you feel drowsiness so a sensor will be there in your car that will give you the notification every time you feel uh, such such things okay so that the accidents or uh, such things would not happen okay and uh, the sensors will be there in many places in your car 
and in the future we you will also see the automated cars also there how will automated car will work automated call car will work on the different kind of sensor deployed in the buildings deployed in the um, red lights uh, so that uh, deployed uh, in in the traffic sensing signals uh, so that the car will uh, will take the shortest route route according to the traffic uh, traffic and uh, it will automatically drive uh, this is possible using the different kind of sensor lot of lot of sensors you deployed around around in the building around uh, in the roads uh, around in, in your car so in the future uh, this is a very important application of iot you will see uh, a automated car there will be no need of uh, a driver to drive your car so this is a uh, uh, good application in the future sir uh, next slide sir okay uh, as we have talked about the uh, that uh, i open connected car just like we have said that the iot will the sensors will be in your steering vehicle and ip sensors will be on the brakes and all will be done automatically by the automatic sensor uh, or that that sensors and a sensor senses and uh, actuators uh, do the task that needed okay so the uh, in the future the connected car is uh, an important iot application next slide sir okay and the next uh, application is uh, in the smart uh, retail in the retail industry the iot plays a very vital role because uh, you will see that uh, in the figure that uh, uh, it shows the smart selves smart selves means uh, that in the self a particular item is placed so the iot sensors will uh, give the notification to the owner or of that uh, store that the particular thing is missing or missing or it is going to out of stock so that it will always get notified and not forget to to make the stock every time uh, and um, it iot sensors also give uh, 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 completes the task of placing the right thing on the right place okay it will also uh, do that thing just like take an example that uh, the less demanded products uh, will be placed in the front side and the high demanded products will be placed in the back side so that the customer pick the the the, the front side product because it is more visible it is good for the customer it is not very good for the customer base but it is good for the for the store owner okay so this kind of things will be see that uh, in the in the store or sensors uh, will give you the notification for the products placed every time as we see that rfid tags are there on uh, on on the uh, on on the items so you you are seeing nowadays that uh, in long checkout lines are there long checkout lines the customer has to wait for their billing uh, so this is a main problem okay so in this case uh, when rfid tags are there so every time it uh, iot sensors itself uh, checks the item by these tags and uh, and cuts uh, the payment with your uh, payment bills automatically so this is a main application that sensors will do automatically and you don't need to be queue on uh, uh, you don't need to be queue on for 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 long times iot sensors senses the items you purchase and cuts the and add the amount and, and cuts from your uh, uh, payment uh, card okay this application in in the for in in the future automatic uh, that that robots will take place for the manual work for the manual work robot will take place uh, this way uh, this will uh, actually uh, reduce the needs of the manpower and uh, so this is the smart retail everywhere you will see that uh, uh, things are uh, uh, sensors are placed sensors are placed that give, will give you the real time things sir next slide okay so that we have discussed impact of iot in retail uh, just like an uh, beacons beacons is a concept first introduced by apple in 2013 are the bluetooth radio transmitter that use low energy bluetooth connection to automatically send push notification to smartphones based on the location proximity every time that beacons uh, uses the uses uh, the uh, is uh, are the bluetooth uh, radio transmitter that uses the low energy bluetooth 
so every time you are in the store you are accessing the store you will get every time the notification about the extra discounts about the extra uh, extra discounts or uh, or many things you you get the push notification every time you're there okay so this kind this kind of big cons uh, uh, we will see in the smart store in the uh, in the future next next slide sir okay so there is a, we have talked about the smart shelves because i to sensor in the shelves also and every time a, a item is out of stock or in the less in numbers it will send notification to the owner of the store so that it will make it up and uh, 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 and complete the in, uh, entire amount there and smart shelves uh, we have talked about uh, we, have, we have also talked about the rfid tag which is associated with each item so that you don't need to be wait on the checkout lines next slide sir uh we have talked about the, this automated checkout automated checkout we have talked about that uh, tax are there and uh, by uh, tax uh, recognize the item and uh, that price price of the item and uh, by combining uh, uh, sensors uh, senses the uh, the tax and uh, um, by tax uh, uh, by calculating the price of uh, purchased items it will uh, it will uh, cut that amount from uh, from your uh, uh payment bill card payment bill so you, you don't need to have in the lines every time next slide sir okay is total layout we have discussed so thank you so much uh, this is some important iot applications and uh, if you have any kind of uh, question questions you can ask so slides देखा हेलो 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 मैंने सभी को अनम्यूट कर दिया है किसी को कोई क्वेश्चन हो पूछ सकता है ज्योति तुमने एड्रेस किया है स्टूडेंट्स किसी कुछ क्वेश्चन हो स्टूडेंट्स कैन यू लिसन टू मी स्टूडेंट कैन यू लिसन टू मी डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन शिवानी शिवानी किसी कुछ क्वेश्चन पूछना आज के सेशन में सर ने आज एप्लीकेशन बताई और डायमेंशन बताई है कि कहां कहां आईओटी इंप्लीमेंटेड है और इंप्लीमेंट किया जा सकता है any question i would recommend to uh, to uh, to watch the video i will share the ppt with all of you and you will see the videos there i i have not played all the videos but uh, uh, two more videos are there in the ppt friends if you kuch question hai nothing means sab kuch clear uh, either sab kuch clear ho chuka hai ya fir kuch samajh mein nahi aaya नो क्वेश्चन का मतलब एक ही होता है या तो सब कुछ क्लियर हो गया हंड्रेड परसेंट नॉलेज ट्रांसफॉर्म ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हो चुका है या जीरो परसेंट ट्रांसफॉर्म हुआ है अदरवाइज क्वेरीज तो आई नहीं क्वेरीज तो होनी चाहिए ना एक्चुअली क्या सेशन थोड़ा इंटरेक्टिव होता है तो पढ़ने में मजा आता है और स्टूडेंट्स को पढ़ने में मजा आता है इसलिए वॉट आई वॉन्ट की आप थोड़ा सा क्वेश्चन वगैरह पूछें अगर कोई क्वेरी है तो इट्स नॉट लाइक की एक बर्डन है ये कोर्स एक इंटरेक्टिव सेशन है बट ऑब्वियसली इस इस ट्रेनिंग से तुम्हें बेनिफिट होने वाला है तो अगर कुछ डाउट है तो आप पूछें सर ने आज सारे डायमेंशन बताए सारी एप्लीकेशन एरिया डिस्कस किए जिन जिन एरिया में आप अपने प्रोडक्ट बना सकते हैं आईओटी के आईओटी से रिलेटेड 
और इवन आप खुद अपने अपने आप को एज एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप के अंदर एज एंटरप्रेन्योर मार्केट में लॉन्च कर सकते हैं एनी क्वेश्चन सौरभ यस सर पूछो कुछ क्वेश्चन सर एक मेरा क्वेश्चन है सर सर क्या सेंसर को सर पानी के अंदर या धरती के अंदर यूज कर सकते हैं श्योर बेटा कर सकते हैं बट उसके लिए कुछ प्रोएक्टिव मेजर्स यूज में लेने पड़ेंगे फॉर एग्जांपल जैसे अगर तुम किसी सेंसर को वाटर में सबमर्ज करते हो तो देन उसकी वाटर प्रूफिंग पर तुम्हें ध्यान देना पड़ेगा बहुत सारे मतलब इशूज है फॉर एग्जाम्पल तुम्हें वाटर उसकी वाटर प्रूफिंग करनी पड़ेगी ताकि अंदर जो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कम्पोनेट है वो डैमेज ना हो ठीक है सेकंड उसका ये चीज चेक करनी पड़ेगी फॉर एग्जांपल अर्थ में भी अगर उसको सब सबमर्ज करते हो ग्राउंड में सबमर्ज करते हो तो उसका सिग्नल है वो उस अर्थ को पेनिट्रेट करके इंटरनेट तक कैसे पहुंचेगा वो तुम्हें देखना पड़ेगा ठीक है तो ऐसा नहीं है कि केवल ये जो सेंसर है केवल एयर मतलब ऑन दी एयर ही यूज में आते हैं अर्थ के अंदर भी यूज में आते हैं ग्राउंड में भी यूज में आते हैं वाटर के अंदर भी यूज में आते हैं ठीक है जैसे अभी तुमने एक सुना होगा कि जो हिंद महासागर है वहां पर इंडियन आर्मी ने अपने कुछ सेंसर्स डाल रखे हैं ताकि अगर कोई इन बिटवीन कोई एक्टिविटीज होती है फॉर एग्जांपल जैसे सी बाउंड्री से लैंड बाउंड्रीज होती है तो उसमें तो क्या आइडेंटिफाई हो जाता है कौन ट्रेस पास करके आ रहा है चा, इंडिया चाइना का बॉर्डर वो आइडेंटिफाइड है मगर सी के अंदर कोई बॉर्डर आइडेंटिफाई नहीं होता है तो वो बॉर्डर कैसे आइडेंटिफाई किया जाता है जगह जगह सेंसर्स लगा दिए जाते हैं तो उन सेंसर्स का काम ये होता है कि अगर कोई ट्रेस पासिंग होती है या कोई एक्टिविटी होती है तो उसको मॉनिटर करना तो वहां से वो रीडिंग सेंड करते हैं अपने बेस स्टेशन को तो अल्टीमेटली वहां भी कौन है सेंसर डिप्लॉयड है ओके तो सेंसर्स वाटर में भी हो सकते हैं ग्राउंड में भी हो सकते हैं बट डिपेंड करता है कि अगर आप ग्राउंड या वाटर में डालेंगे तो उसका जो सिग्नल है वो पहली बार ट्रांसफर होकर के ग्राउंड पे कैसे जाएगा और सेकेंड चीज उनको पावर कैसे मिलेगी ठीक है तो बहुत सारे इशूज है वो डिस्कस मतलब किए जाते हैं तो ऐसा कोई कंस्टेंट नहीं है कि सेंसर बाहर रहेंगे सेंसर कहीं भी हो सकते हैं एडवर्स सिचुएशन में भी हो सकते हैं ओके एनी मोर थैंक यू सर एनी मोर क्वेश्चन गुड क्वेश्चन इट्स रियली गुड डाउट एनी एनी मोर क्वेश्चन यस गौरव चौधरी गौरव अपना माइक अनम्यूट करके पूछ सकते हो आप क्वेश्चन गौरव एंड ज्योति यू हैव रेज योर हैंड तो You can unmute your mic and uh, uh, ask your query. We are available here. Gaurav, Gaurav, Jyoti, Gaurav, any doubt? अपना mic unmute करो बेटा. ओके, सो किसी को कोई डाउट नहीं है ओके तो टुमारो गुप्ता सर विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम मोर अबाउट सेंसर सेंसर डिजाइनिंग एंड ऑल ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट इज रिलेटेड टू हार्डवेयर वो कल डिस्कस करेंगे सर कैसे सेंसर्स यूज आते हैं क्या उनका बैकग्राउंड हिस्ट्री है किस किस टाइप के सेंसर्स होते हैं पर्टिकुलर उन सेंसर्स का क्या यूज है उट इट तो so, कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है स्टूडेंट्स आप आइडिया लेकर के उसे इंप्लीमेंट करें इवन फंड के फंड का कोई इशू नहीं है गवर्नमेंट आपको फंड करेगी कॉलेज आपको फंड करेगा गवर्नमेंट आपको फंड करेगा इवन रिसेंटली अभी गुप्ता सर और मेरा एक पेटेंट फाइल हुआ है वो भी इवन आईओटी के ऊपर ही बेस्ड है ओके सो फंड इज नॉट अ बिग इशू आपको अगर आपका आइडिया अच्छा है इनोवेटिव है तो गवर्नमेंट आपको स्टोरली फंड करेगी नहीं तो कोई प्राइवेट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आपको फंड करेगी तो एक अच्छा आपको एक अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली है बेटर आप इसको क्रैक करें तो अभी किसी का डाउट नहीं है तो आई थिंक वी शुड वी शुड एंड दिस सेशन तो थैंक यू गुप्ता सर ओके सो थैंक यू शुड आई डिस्कनेक्ट टू ऑल इसकी पीपीटी मैं ग्रुप में शेयर कर दूंगा ओके ओके सर ओके